Good evening. Welcome to Financial Report. Shares in HSBC and Standard chartered both rose after the two British-based banking giants endorsed Beijing's new national security law for Hong Kong. While not being the first major corporations to back Beijing, the two banks are in a uniquely delicate position. Most of their earnings are generated in Asia, but their headquarters are in London, where the British government has expressed strong opposition to the law. Critics say it will diminish freedom and violates the one country, two systems principle. Hong Kong and China are vital to HSBC, which accounts for 40 percent of the bank's revenue. A strategy revamp in February sees even greater focus on the area. HSBC shares rose 1.8 percent and Standard Chartered's were up 4.3 percent. Meanwhile, the broader Hang Seng index inched slightly higher in an up and down day of trading. Alan Buchner reports. Investors continue to be concerned about the national security law, which seems to be capping gains. Still, the market is up 6.1 percent this week heading for the biggest weekly advance since early November. Sands China was one of the biggest movers on the market, rising 4.9 percent to close at $32.30. Mainland developer China Vanke rose 2.3 percent to $26.85 after raising almost 8 billion Hong Kong dollars in a share sale. It says it will use the proceeds to repay offshore debt and finance expansion on the mainland. Overall, the Hang Seng Index rose 0.2% to 24,366. The Hang Seng Index, the, um, the trading volume uh, will become uh, quite thin in the short term uh, because some liquidity will flow into the IPO and also uh, into some uh, main theme stock in, in the short term. Um, the trading range between the Hang Seng Index will uh, just near to uh, 24,000 pounds to uh, 24,600 pounds level. On the mainland, the Shanghai Composite was down slightly at 29,919. Alan Buchner, TVB 